In the last chapter, we understood what a, what a gate level simulation is. In this chapter, we will try to understand why there is a need for GLS. Before we understand the need for gate level simulation, let's recap on the flow. Basically, you have an RTL representation and you verify this RTL representation with your functional verification. And after the functional verification is performed, you basically go through the synthesis flow and you have the gate level net list. So there are issues which can crop up during the synthesis or during the logic equivalence check and STA, which can only be checked in a gate level simulation rather than an RTL simulation. So it's a necessary aspect of the flow. Let us try to understand some of the points in the next slide. The power up and reset operation of a design. So how you power up your chip and how the, the chip comes out of a reset can only be checked in a gate level simulation. Your RTL simulation can basically check the functionality, but the timing can only be checked at a gate level simulation. As I mentioned in my previous slide, there are some limitations to the STA. The inability of the STA to identify asynchronous interface. It is a good way to check that the critical timing path of your asynchronous designs that are not checked by STA can be checked by your gate level simulation. The static timing constraints such as your false path or multi-cycle paths. If your timing constraints are wrong, that means you are not timing some of the paths in your design, which may lead to issues. So this become this is where GLS becomes important as a sign of flow for your STA. To verify your DFT structures, the DFT structures are absent in the RTL and they get inserted during the synthesis flow. To verify this, you need a gate level simulation. Power estimation. So the power estimation can only be done on a netlist. So you need a gate level simulation. Check the critical timing parts of the asynchronous design. As I mentioned, this cannot be checked by the STA and this has to be checked in your gate level simulation. You need to check if the design works at a desired frequency with actual delays in place. Even though STA checks this with timing, it is important to check because of the missing constraints that may be introduced in STA. Methods to find out the need for synchronizer if absent in the design. So basically this is, if the synchronizers are missing on some of the nets, it will generate X onto these nets and there will be an X propagation which can be caught in your gate level simulation. So these are some of the points that are important on why gate level simulation is important. We will check in the next chapter on the different types of gate level simulation.